Today we are going to talk about roof ventilation, specifically the different types of roof ventilation and how they affect your roof. Want to know more? Let's check it out. Hello everybody and welcome to Energy Advantage. So today my dog is going to get in the way. Aww, my little baby. I'm just a baby. I'm just a baby. Hello everybody and welcome to Energy Advantage. So, there are many reasons why roof ventilation is essential for your roof. Not only for temperature control and moisture control, but also to expand the lifespan of your roof. Another reason why roof ventilation is essential for your roof is due to manufacturer's warranty. Basically, if you don't have ventilation, well, your manufacturer can actually decline your warranty claim. And that would really suck. Also, just to remind you guys, if you want to know anything about roofing and solar, hop onto our YouTube channel. We have a ton of videos and of course we're making more videos. So check them out because it's very educational, very informational hopefully a little entertaining and as always please leave a comment below and let me know of any other videos you would like me to make about roofing or solar but coming back to the topic which is ventilation in order to keep your attic and your roof system ventilated you need a certain amount of air intake and a certain amount of exhaust and for that reason you want to make sure that you are using the correct ventilation materials Okay, so what are the different type of ventilation materials? When it comes to air intake, you need soffit vents or edge vents. What this simply means is that these vents allow air from the outside to enter into your attic. And these systems need to be located on the lowest eaves of your roof. While when it comes to exhaust, this means that the hot air that has accumulated in your attic, in your roof, needs to have an exit, a way out of your roof helping to remove the overheated air and moisture. Hot air floats upwards and that is why the exhaust vents are placed on the top of your roof. So when it comes to exhaust vents, we have box vents, ridge vents and turbines. Believe it or not, it does happen that the wrong combination of ventilation is installed. What do I mean by this? This means that there is such a thing as over ventilation or under ventilation. For instance, I literally have seen a case where a box vent was placed on a roof, but there was actually no hole in the roof to allow air to exit. So they literally just placed a box vent there for aesthetics, I guess. The other thing that can happen is that the roofer basically ignores the ventilation requirements and just kind of guesses where the vents go and how many? So obviously it's really important that you have the right amount of intake and exhaust. Now, how do you do that? Well, there is a thing called ventilation calculator. Yep, this obviously helps you balance the levels. And the other thing that you can do is obviously make sure that you hire a certified contractor who understands and follows the building codes requirements to avoid any mistakes. All right, so let's talk about the different ventilation materials and let's start with soffit vents. Soffit vents are a ventilation device that are placed underneath the eaves of your roof. Now there are several different types of soffit vents that you can actually choose from and your roofing company should be able to help you to choose the right one for your roof. For instance, you could have a continuous soffit vent, a circular soffit vent or a rectangle soffit vent. What about edge vents? These vents also provide proper intake ventilation for homes with little or no overhang. Now this is installed differently to soffit vents because it is installed at the edge of the roof. So when it comes to air exhaust, there are many different types of roofing ventilations that you can use. So let's start with box vents. The box vent earns its name because it literally looks like a box on your roof. Now, depending on your roof, box vents may need to be placed at multiple locations on your roof. What they do is that they basically help to remove hot air that is accumulated in your attic. They are non-mechanical and they are installed over a hole that is cut into your roof. Box vents are most effective when installed as close to the roof ridge as possible. This simply allows the maximum amount of heat and moisture to be released. So 
Now, the downside to box vents is that they can cause leaks over time or of course if they're not installed correctly. Uh, they can also rust because they're made out of some type of metal. Ridge vents. Ridge vents run along the length of the top of the roof. And when you put ventilation at its highest point of the roof, it means it will be the most effective. Obviously, because that's where the most amount of heat and moisture accumulates. They are affordable, efficient, and long-lasting. What's great about this system is that it's actually quite unnoticeable and it blends in with the roof structure really well. The other positive aspect of ridge vents is that they actually eliminate the risk of leaks. Now, there are different materials that one can use when it comes to ridge vents, such as mesh type material, aluminum, and gaff which is basically a plastic type of material, which is actually said to be one of the most efficient and effective out of all the other materials. Mesh isn't that great because it actually can be pressed down and therefore it stops airflow. Aluminum is said they can get damaged pretty easily as well because the metal bends, uh, the nails can be pulled out and of course exposed nails. The exposed nails can actually rust and wiggle themselves out of the roof decking due to expansion and contraction because of the heat and the cold. Plastic gaff or GAF, I'm not actually quite sure how to pronounce it, so please stay with me here, is said to be the most reliable out of all of the materials. Turbine. So turbines are installed at the top of your roof and it uses wind to basically suck out the hot air. In most situations, turbines need little or no maintenance, but obviously it's not impossible that issues occur with turbines. When installed incorrectly, turbines can leak and of course they can rust. The best thing you can do honestly is to have regular maintenance because this is a small problem that can become a bigger issue if it's not addressed early on. Roofing technologies are always improving, so I highly encourage you to do your own research, pop onto Google and take a look if there's anything new out there when it comes to ventilation. That's it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this was educational and informational. I guess that's kind of the same thing when I think about it. As always, leave a comment below. Let me know if you've had any issues with your roof ventilation. And as always, don't forget to subscribe and like our channel. And if you would like a roofing quote or a solar quote from us, information's all in the description box, or you can simply go to our website. Have a good day.